In this tutorial for advanced Dreamweaver students, we will be building a simple interactive form with some PHP, first introduction of PHP, <clears throat> and we'll also be introducing the Yahoo user interface calendar and in integrating that using JavaScript into the form. So there are uh, two main prerequisites to follow along with this tutorial. And the first is, is that you're working in a Dreamweaver site that has a testing server set up using PHP that you can connect to. And the next prerequisite is that you have installed using the Dreamweaver and CS4 extension manager that you have installed the Yahoo user interface calendar. And that would be here under Dreamweaver. I have it installed on my system and I am not going to show you how to install it, but it's actually very simple. You would go back to Dreamweaver and go up to this extensions interface and browse for web widgets, which will bring you to the Adobe Web Widgets page. And on page two, you start to see the Yahoo user interface widgets and right here is the Yahoo calendar and that's what we'll be using today so you would download that and then using the extension manager you would install it into your Dreamweaver uh, instance from there so let's get going in Dreamweaver I will uh, we're going to be using PHP in this page uh, just one short line just as an introduction in this tutorial but let's open a new PHP page and as you can see, you um, you get the layouts using PHP that you get with HTML as well. So uh, you get the same, pretty much the same choices. So I'm going to select a simple one column fixed with a header and a footer. And I am going um, to go into design mode. And what we'll be doing first is creating a form. So um, we're going to make an appointment form to integrate that calendar. So let's call this uh, Lay Brun Brunette Salon and make an appointment to have your hair done. Very simple marketing campaign. And what I'm going to do here is get rid of this template code, leave a paragraph, and I'll say thank you for visiting our site. We will We will reply to your appointment request within one business day. Okay, now let's save this as hair appointment.php. So we've got the start of our page. Let's put just a simple telephone number here, just so they have a place to reach us. Now, it's in here in this paragraph that we're going to get started creating our form. And the first thing I'm going to do is go up to my Insert panel, select Forms, and this is our form. And a form tag is a wrapper that comes very useful when you're creating a form. So I'm going to insert a form right within that paragraph. And when you do that in design mode, you will get this red um, uh, wrapper around there to indicate the presence of your form. And as you see in the properties panel, properties inspector, we have a form. I'm going to change the ID of that form just so we can track it to hair appointment. And the key property that we look for here is the method, and that's the method that PHP will use to transfer the information that's entered in the form 
Um, you could use either post or get, and we'll go through the pros and cons and demonstrate how that works in a few minutes after we build our form. So we have a form, and we're going to go inside of that form, and we're going to enter a paragraph. I like to enter forms and form elements in the context of paragraphs because it gives us a, a block level element that is not the form element that we can then manage and apply styles to. So, um, and it's just an easy way to structure things. Next, I'm going to insert a text field and it will bring up the input tag accessibility attributes and I will type in, uh, let's say appointment date here. And let's just put date colon and a label is an object that can be tied to a form element, like a text field or a text area or a checklist. Um, and in this case, I am going to apply that label using the for attribute in the label, telling HTML what that label is for, what element that label is for. And that's, uh, I'll hit OK there. And what you'll see then is as we look at the code what's interesting is you'll see that the the label now has a a for attribute called for appointment date so it knows that it's for they're not one element and they're only happen to be wrapped within the same paragraph but we know what they're for they don't need proximity anymore within the html code um, next i will go down to this next area here and enter another paragraph and I'm going to enter another text field and let that be just name and the label for that will be name this will be the names the person's name who wants a hair appointment and in the next paragraph I am going to have um, I'm going to enter a what will be a check box group right so a group of checkboxes and let's call this um, times and the first label will be let's say mornings and the value for that label will be mornings I don't need to capitalize although it is nice to capitalize on the interface on the form afternoons and let's put F afternoons and let's add one more checkbox and call it evenings and evenings there and we will use line breaks to designate the checkboxes and that will lay out like this so we will have a date a name and some times and then let's enter one more paragraph and we'll enter a what's called a text area and this will be comments and here somebody can enter their comments and I'm going to click OK there and in this case I'm going to just simply I could do this right in design mode enter a shift return or shift enter just to put a line break in there just because the text area will look better that way and finally after the text area another paragraph and my last element in this very simple form will be a button and the button in this case will be let's just call this send and we are not going to put a label on it we'll hit OK and as we look at the property inspector we can enter our value uh, which will turn out to be the label and here for this value I am going let's go over here and uh, make an appointment okay and click through there and there we have our button and that button will submit the form and we will, um, in a few minutes, hook, up, hook that form up to an actual PHP action.